bum, bum, bum. This is T-Rock Plutonium, and this is Ring Wars, WrestleMania edition. WrestleMania 26 was tonight, and it was a very surprising WrestleMania, so let's get right to it. I'm going to rate things out of 10. 1 out of 10, 2 out of 10, 3 out of 10. Start off with the first match, the unified tag title match, Big Show and The Miz versus Morrison and R-Truth. Big Show and Miz pick up the quick victory. Big Show picks up the quick victory with a right across the face. Was this a good match? I don't know. It was quick. So I'll give it a 5 out of 10. I don't know. Next match, Triple Threat, Randy Orton, Cody Rhodes, Ted DiBiase. It's a pretty good match. At one point, Randy Orton had both Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase on the ropes, and pff, down they went. Of course, Randy Orton won the match, and thus finished his legacy escape. And uh, Ted DiBiase and Cody Rhodes actually got into it with each other, so we'll see where that goes. Who knows? They're probably going to get split up in the draft, but I'll give this match a 6 out of 10. Next match, Money in the Bank ladder match. Everybody thought Christian was going to win. And everybody was wrong. He almost won. You want to know who won? Jack Swagger. That's right. Jack Swagger won. He couldn't even get the briefcase off of the hook on top of the ladder. He had so much time. He won. Why they're pushing Jack Swagger? I have no idea. But Vince, you could have found somebody else to win. I give this I give this match a four out of ten because it was a ladder match. It was pretty good. It had some pretty good moves, some pretty good falls from up high, but. Jack Swagger won, so you're not getting a good rating on that one. Sheamus versus Triple H. A pretty good match. They both wrestle real well, and Triple H ends up beating Sheamus. Triple H ends up beating Sheamus. I give this a 6 out of 10. It was a good match. Not the memorable about it, except Triple H won. We like it when Triple H wins. I thought he was going to turn heel tonight, but apparently I was wrong. CM Punk versus Rey Mysterio. Another 6 out of 10 match. I... Thought for sure Rey Mysterio was going to lose this match, but he won. Rey Mysterio actually won. That's why I said this is a very surprising WrestleMania, because what we thought was going to happen didn't happen. And it should have happened. Rey Mysterio won. He he 619 the guy, the, the other two got in CM Punk's posse got involved. It was an okay match, you know. Nothing right home about. Six out of ten. Notice the pattern here. No holds barred match. Bret Hart versus Vince McMahon. Vince came out saying he was going to screw Brett once again. And he did. He brought out the entire Hart family saying that they were on his side. That they pay, he paid them off. Little did he know that no, they didn't. And they all turned on Vince. Vince got the beating of a lifetime. Everybody in the Hart family beat him up. Brett beat him up. Brett took a crowbar that Vince brought into the ring. Beat Vince up. More chair shots to Vince McMahon than I've ever seen in my life. Would your boss do the same? He had to have been wearing some kind of Kevlar under his thing because he took so many chair shots and nothing to the head. That's the new stipulation rule. Great match. Hilarious because Vince McMahon got the crap beat out of him. 8 out of 10. That is good stuff. World Heavyweight Championship match. Edge versus Jericho. What a dump of a match. It looked like Edge wasn't completely healed because he was going very lightly in the ring with Jericho. It wasn't, like, too hardcore, and the moves weren't landing well. Maybe they don't wrestle well together. But there was no heat on either one of them. The crowd wasn't enjoying it at all, and I wasn't enjoying it at all. I thought it was a slow beginning match. It ended fine, but it was a slow match. It was very slow, and for a championship match, it wasn't that great. It wasn't that great. And Chris Jericho retains the title, although Edge spears him through the barricade. So I give this match a 4 out of 10. For a championship match, a 4 out of 10. Why? Because it sucked. There was no heat. There was nothing. It was it was stale. It was a very stale match. Well, what else can I say? There was a pre-show match, a pre-show battle royal, and Yoshi Tatsu won. So why there was a pre-match battle royal with people that they aren't using because there's a lot of talent that they're not using, I don't know. But Yoshitatsu, yank, 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 won. So, hey, I give that a, I don't know, a 5 out of 10, I guess. I don't know. 10 Diva Tag Match, 5 on 5. Vicky Guerrero was in there. Wasn't that great a match. Everybody laid a finishing move out in there. All the women laid a finishing move. But a lot of them were very, very sloppy. All right? Beth Phoenix kind of got Vicky Guerrero. But in the end, Vicky Guerrero did a bullfrog splash off the top rope. But she couldn't pin her whoever. She couldn't pin, what is it, Kelly Kelly? Or, she couldn't pin her right. So she had to jump on her twice and stomp. And then she was shaking her boobs. No. Uh, four out of ten.
Sorry, Vicky. Hot girls and you don't mix. WWE Championship match. Batista versus John Cena. This match was awesome. Why? Because they both had heat. People hate John Cena. People hate Batista. People love John Cena. People love Batista. And it was a great match. It was, a, it was exciting. It was back and forth and wrestling. Great match. This was an awesome, awesome match. And guess what? In the end, John Cena wins. I know nobody wants to see John Cena with the championship again. I can only assume that it's because either Sheamus is going to get his rematch that he never got, or some other heel, Triple H might turn heel, or, you know, somebody, something's going to happen at Vengeance, because uh, why does a face have, maybe at the, at the draft, I don't know, I don't know. Good match, I say 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Great. And finally, a streak versus career match. How could they ever top last year's WrestleMania? Who was going to win? Is The Undertaker streak going to get lost? Is Shawn Michaels gone? Well, early on in the match, The Undertaker did his signature I'm walking on the top rope move, jumped off, and hurt his leg. And he really hurt it. You could see he really hurt his leg. However, the true competitor that Undertaker is, he continued on. He went on with the match, and it actually made the match better because he was physically in pain. And back and forth and back and forth, and Shawn Michaels kept hitting his leg. I mean, that's crazy. The Undertaker is writhing in agony, and Shawn Michaels is just pounding on his leg. Shawn Michaels did a backflip off the, the, the ring post onto the, the table and crushed The Undertaker through. It took two tombstones in the end for The Undertaker to beat Shawn Michaels. Streak is alive at 18-0, and Shawn Michaels, well, he retired, but what a hell of a match. It rivaled last year's, if not better, better, 10 out of 10. So that was WrestleMania, right? It ended with Shawn Michaels leaving with no music. That was my only, that was my only, they should have played his music. But uh, overall, I give the night an 8 out of 10. It was a really good WrestleMania. It was very surprising. Best match by far, uh, Shawn Michaels Undertaker. Uh, second best, John Cena uh, Batista. Third match, third best match, probably Vince McMahon versus Bret Hart. Fourth, Sheamus Triple H. Fifth, Money in the Bank. Sixth, and then, you know, on and on until last you get Edge and Jericho. And who's going after Chris Jericho? I don't know. Is Randy Orton going to get traded to SmackDown? What are we going to see? Why does Jericho have the title? I guess it's because Edge can't compete. Anyway, I'm T-Rock Plutonium. This is Ring Wars. Question of the week is, did you like WrestleMania? What were your thoughts? For WrestleMania, for JR, Jim Ross, and everybody who wasn't there, and Ted DiBiase in the Hall of Fame. I'm T-Rock Plutonium. Why? Because it's what makes time travel possible. If you smell what T-Rock is cooking. See you guys next time. Oh,